fellow dreamers in today's video I have a Dollar Tree organization project for you it has been about two and a half years ish almost three years that I have um, organized my whole closet and it was in dire need of being reorganized so I've cleaned everything out I put everything back in using these lovely teal organizers from the Dollar Tree it looks so much better and I actually have some free shelves now which is amazing so I guess it's kind of a work in progress sort of but it's pretty functional right now so let's go check it out but before we go check this out I want to give you a call for questions if you guys follow me on Instagram or Facebook or Twitter you've already been sending me your questions which is amazing I'll be doing a live a couple of live stream videos actually this week as well as next week so my first live stream video is going to be tomorrow which is April the 19th <laughs> don't know what day it is anymore and um, basically I've gotten so many Disney related questions over the last like couple of hours that it's going to warrant probably an entire video so if you have any Disney planning questions now is your time to ask me leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them in tomorrow's live stream it'll be 7 p.m. Eastern time right here on the YouTubes I'll have another live stream video coming up on Thursday which I think is the 21st where I'll be answering more of your lifestyle kind of questions Questions, things about me things about work or essential oils or health or recipes or organization saving money whatever you've got leave those questions in the comment section below this video as well and I will answer them on the live stream on Thursday the 21st 7 p.m. Eastern time okay now let's go check out the closet and here is my haul closet how about that so anything you see that is teal or white as far as an organizer goes is from the Dollar Tree so I'm just gonna start on the door this is an organizer from Amazon I will link this below I'll link everything that I possibly can in the description bar below so I have two shelves that are completely empty that's amazing so if you have any suggestions on what I can put in these two shelves let me know in the comments so then here's my first aid stuff I have this at eye level just because it's just easy for me to reach in and grab what I need so I've got a little first aid kit this little bin here has two skin soothers in it calendula cream and some um, colloidal silver first aid gel and some bandages this is actually a recycled tea tin so I have some band-aids in there here is my neti pot and the little saline solution packets that go inside it I have some lens wipes I do wear glasses most of the time so that cleans my glasses off and moving down here I have some medicine kind of things so I have some oscillococcinum some these lozenges I have a couple of thermometers Bach flower essences some homeopathics in here as well and then moving over to the right side this is kind of and down here my young living stuff so I have this is my shower gel I dilute this and have a little pump in my shower so this is just like the remaining and when I run out of that I'll just refill it I will actually leave a video right up here so you guys can see how I do that and make my shower gel stretch a little farther so then I have my carrier oil. This is the organic sunflower seed oil from Whole Foods. That's what I use to make my little rollerball recipes. Down here, I have a little travel kind of carrier case for my essential oils, oil cap labels, some sample bottles. I send samples out all the time and some literature and things like that. So then here, is this not the most attractive fly swatter you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> I don't know why I have two because this one really takes the cake, this goose really wax a punch man that's hardcore fly swatter all right so then moving on over here the top shelf ah so this is my kind of cleaning shelves here my top shelf and the second one down Dollar Tree bin of course and I have a bunch of cleaning cloths in here so just things that I don't really use anymore um, some from the Dollar Tree some just left over and really old I have some pantyhose in here too I use these to clean I actually there's a great show on if anybody has Hulu or lives in Australia um, there's a show called Lush House that is fantastic and the lady that does it her last name is Lush and she talks about using pantyhose to kind of go around like faucets or hard to reach areas to clean this works really well it's a non-abrasive cloth to clean around hard to reach areas so I always keep some pantyhose in there all right so then this actually is a dish bin that I'm using to corral my cleaning supplies together so I have some rubbing alcohol here 
Back here I've got some Castile soap. In the very back I've got some vinegar. The spray bottles are all different diluted ratios of the Thieves Cleaner Concentrate, which is right here. So I have one for glass and uh, mirrors. I have one that's like a more heavy dilution ratio. So for like toilets or bathroom sinks, counters, all that. And then I have the moderately diluted one for multi-purpose cleaning, kind of cleaning off the table and things like that. Some more vinegar and some leftover hand soap in the back. So then down here, I have a couple more cleaning supplies. This is a huge bag of baking soda from Costco. And then back here, I have some washing soda, also arm and hair, some cleaning brushes. Here's the thieves concentrate see what's behind there. Oh yeah, this is the um, Dollar Tree Magic Eraser, so I've got that there too, and an empty glass bottle so I can um, make some more little spray cleaner recipes. This is our foot bath bin, so this is actually my husband's, that one is mine, and then we have some Epsom salt in here, really nice to take some detox foot baths with, really convenient to just grab out of there. So then on this middle shelf I have some extra toilet paper, again a Dollar Tree bin here. This fabric bin has some extra little towels in it for our bathrooms, hand towels, and then I have some extra tissues there. Middle to bottom shelf here, um, this is a humidifier that I use in the winter time. My house gets really, really, really dry when I have the, even when the whole house humidifier is running, I don't know, for some reason my house is just, it's just so dry. So I always have the humidifier running in the winter. Now that it's spring, I don't really need that, so I just have that stored here. These are for my husband. These are the cotton rounds that I get from Amazon now. It seems to be like a better price just buying them in bulk off of Amazon. And they're so much better, I feel, than the Dollar Tree ones. I think I might be a convert and just like get the Dollar Tree ones if I absolutely have to. I really, really like these from Amazon. So then this, I'm such a hippie, y'all. This is, <laughs> this is my um, incense bin. I also have some Palo Santo wood that we can burn. I just have a bunch of, these are incense cones. I have incense coming out the wazoo here. Actually, these are from the Morocco Pavilion at Disney. How about that? So then looking down here, it's kind of dark. I hope you guys can see. This is my utility, I guess for lack of a better term, area. So I have a bunch of tape. This is the best tape ever. Um, the Gorilla, let me see if it says clear repair tape. This stuff is will repair anything. It is waterproof. I have it actually holding up something outside my house and it's working fantastically. So if you need like a really good strong tape, I highly recommend this one. I have some other painter's tape and things like that in there. So then here, this is my utility, I guess, um, work accessories. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. So I have some um, tape measures in here, different screwdrivers and things, random things. A lot of it's for musical instrument repair, but I use it on my house as well. My electric drill. Yeah, it's like my BFF. I love it. Then I have some sandpaper and, you know, just some more utility kind of things there. On the bottom here, on the right-hand side, I cut my husband's hair, so that is his hair trimmer. And then that's my hot water bottle right there. This entire thing is uh, light bulbs. I will never have a shortage of light bulbs, apparently, because I have way too many of them. And then down here, just a couple of extra little batteries. And then some night lights. This is my light timer for when we go out of town. I've got some extension cords and a fan back there. And there we have it. Nicely organized with room to spare. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today. If you have any questions that you'd like me to answer for my upcoming live stream videos, which will be tomorrow, Tuesday the 19th at 7 p.m. Eastern or Thursday the 21st at 7 p.m. Eastern, leave those in the comment section below this video and I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you haven't already and you'd like to, hit that button down below, subscribe so you never miss a daily Dreamland video. Kiss someone you love today and I'll see you all tomorrow. Ciao.